Hello there, Matthew Miller. Yes, on this podcast, I'm going to be talking about facial recognition and also, you know, yeah, and also about the social distancing, why it has something to do with facial recognition, and which I will get to this soon enough. And yes, on this, I got an uncensored New Zealand police, uh, police trialed facial recognition without clearance. Yeah. <laughs> Without clearance means without a permission or something. I think it reminds me in, the, in one of the movies, Independent Day, when he brought a little alien into like a secret base or something, and it's like in the middle of the desert, and he was like trying to drag it along in his power shoot or something, and he said, Oh, what are you doing here? Do you have clearance? Yeah, here's my clearance. <laughs> Showing the alien. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's get to it. And this is from the Radio New Zealand. And yes, let's go to that now. And, and yes, please try a facial recognition without clearance. A police contract a trial of a controversial facial recognition software without consulting their own bosses or the private commissioner. Well, it sounds ruining. It's without the private, without the privacy, without the <laughs> see commissioner. Hmm. Yeah, and the film, Clever Avar uh, AI system, which is used by. Hundred of police of the uh, of hundred of police department in the United States and several countries is effective of a search changes of faces building itself as the crime fighting tool as the criticism and victims. Well Well we see a lot of videos about facial recognition but it has way more than just about Identifying crime or something. It's a, it's about everyone. Here. It's about uh, uh, yeah, identifying everyone. And I guess that might be part of the ID twenty twenty, part of Bill Gates ID twenty twenty. My theory, and that's just my theory, people. And yeah, the. Pro yeah, the Privacy Commissioner John Everett, who was not aware that police had a trail of a clear view AI when Mayo New Zealand contacted him, contacted, contacted him, said he would expect he would believe on breath on it. Before a trial was underway, he said the Police Commissioner Andrew Costa Don say he was also unaware of the trial. What? Well, so they're unaware of it. So what the hell are they were we actually doing? Wow. People, let's go to it as well. And yep. Police have searched for suspects in an unproved trial of facial recognition test. Uh, tech. Save you AI. Yeah, see this camera there, and boy, boy, wow, and boy, if they're going with, going along with the uh, going here with this facial recognition, man, boy, that means the social credit credit systems will not be too far off, and of course that 5G thing as well, because for the social credit system for the work, they need to they have that 5G in place. Once the 5G is in place, then they can put that social credit system in. And of course, <coughs> yes, and of course, to bring forth a cashless society, which is already going forth. And during the, when there was like the lockdown of level 4 and level 3, there was like a lot of businesses not accepting cash. And that was concerning, and there's a note that it's actually here. It's not actually coming. It's actually here. 
Yeah, so let's just move on to here and see what this facial, uh, facial recognition thing was all about. And, and this is the one, and this is from Tech Insider, what is going on with the facial recognition untangle. And I ain't going to go through it, but I'm not going to watch the whole thing, but I'll go through some key parts. Let's go to it now. How does my iPhone know that's me? And how does Facebook know that's me? And why is Facebook always asking if I want to tag myself in these photos? Well, both are using facial recognition technology. So what's going on? Facial recognition is not a new thing. It was pretty simple. Yeah, well, before that though, yeah. Before we go through that, and yes, was 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 in the iPhones and that though, and yes, sometimes you see that little square thing as well, and yes, I do own an iPhone, and but I still got the iPhone six still going, and and. Yeah, it's hard to believe that technology that iPhone is still going for years old, it's still going, and probably of course it'll probably be able to pick up my face as well, and because it has that facial recognition technology, and I think because yeah, I think I did find an article that that you can actually unlock your iPhone with your face, yeah, your face. Yeah, I think computers used to have that you can actually unlock your computer with facial recognition as well, and yeah. So it's not actually no, and probably, you can know that facial recognition has been going around since like the 1960s or something, and which we're about to go through right now. Let's get to it right now. People would use a ruler to take measurements of your facial features, like how long your eyebrows are, the position of your eyes, the curve of your lips, and so forth. Today, the process is much faster. Now, uh, we use a more like a deep learning based method, which raised the recognition even higher than a human can do. So almost perfect. Yeah, well, let's just move on from here. I'm not, not going to go through all that right now. I'm just going to go to the key parts and let's go to about four minutes. Let's just about four and a half minutes in. And yeah, and that's one in China and they talk about the social credit system and yet yeah, anyway, we're about to get to it now. We're already seeing how the overuse of facial recognition can get out of hand. The country is using yeah. facial recognition for mass surveillance and to give their citizens social yeah. Sure, sure. Scores. Scores. A citizen's social score is based on their economic and social reputation and can be affected by bad driving, jaywalking, posting fake news online, or just buying too many video games. Oh man, buying too many video games. Well, actually, I do own some games. Actually, I do play some games and I do, own, I do like some games as well. Don't actually play. Quite a lot of games, but there are some games that I play more longer than others as well. And which I'm not going to really get too much into it right now because we did to talk about the social credit score, and it's all about based on your behavior, people. And it says bad driving, jaywalking, posting fake news, buying too many video games. Yeah. In when the government's like owns that though, and fake news it could be something that they don't like. And that could be like criticizing the government and oh <clears throat> well, there are some people who say, oh is there could post something that's criticizing the government. Fake news Credit is taken off, yeah, you lose points. Ah uh, yeah. And that's how it's gonna really go around. Yeah, and of course, let's go for about. Yeah. About a person. Their face is linked to their government records, social networks, and tracked behavior through CCTV cameras. Yeah, Good people. and honest behaviors can lead to discounted airline tickets. Committing wrong deeds can cause problems, like banning you from flights and trains or taking away your dog. 
The Chinese government believes this social credit system can help society be better by rewarding good behavior and denouncing bad behavior. But it does feel like Orwell's 1984. And citizens have reported concerns about their privacy and the lack of checks and balances on this system. Yeah, people, and boy, Chinese, uh, what's happening in China is actually a warning, people, and and I do take their word for it as well because they could be bringing it here in New Zealand, especially with this 5G and this facial recognition, and and of course, and I've been actually been hearing rumors about like why people must social distance, and it's probably has something to do with the facial recognition and yet yeah, there it is here and well it's not not yet but this is the next one that says that well you'll be able to pay with just just having your face face your camera <laughs> you just have to just look at the camera let take your picture and done sounds good but I can take your face and yep yeah, And that could be a way to the cashless society people and and yeah, biometric tricks and facial recognition payments to support social distancing fights fight spread of COVID nineteen which which is used to bring this agenda forth as well and boy Yeah face uh, yeah face biometric continue to be the Intermittent around the world to support social distancing, virus transmission reduction, uh, reduction in effort in some cases. Existing technology plan program are being updated while in Poland and elsewhere. Facial recognition is being deployed significantly to combat the spread of COVID 19. And you know, however, people have been encouraged not to update their uh, accounts or apply for passports. Well, people, oh, uh, yeah, Poland launched their biometric smartphone app to confirm people quarantined for 14 days dude to the coronavirus maintaining according to the AFP or something. Wow. Well, and yeah, they got facial recognition and retail payment trial in Russia. Yeah, it's going now. Yeah. Yeah, it's just say, oh, you just look at the camera. You can just pay with just look at the camera. You just take a picture of your face. Now, of course, with the social credit score and yeah, when your score falls too low, they can just turn off your account. Then when you try and look at the camera, they won't. They won't accept your payment. And yeah, especially when the cashless society does come into place. And yet, yeah, let's move on to to the next article. And yet, yeah, there we go. The phenomenal of the facial recognition as a technology in the time of social distancing. And yet. Yeah, <clears throat> social distancing people. They want to tell you, say that well the reason why they want us to social distance so their facial recognition will work much easier. And yes I heard about these rumors that they want we must social distance so their facial recognition can work easier. Well people wow. So and there's a part in the video, it's really sure I'm going to watch about like just about about just probably about 10 seconds of it as well so let's get to it right now is that the social distancing is to make it easier for computer soft distancing is to make it easier for computer software to get facial recognition data on people the software struggles when people are closer together is this new Musk Worldwide Nano Satellite Network, which is not new news, 10... Well, let's go and play again. <coughs> the 
the social distancing is to make it easier. Start at 28. Barrow's triple decker videos that the social distancing is to make it easier for computer software to get facial recognition data on people. The software struggles when people are closer together. Is this new Musk worldwide nano? Yeah, well, people, that's why they want us to be social distancing. So the facial recognition can work easier and have easier time to work. That's what it's all about, people. And yes, Gorse Wolfdale Prime Minister had already passed uh, yeah, the level two enforcement bill too quickly, yeah. Too quickly, the Human Rights Commissioner concerned, yeah, they were actually concerned. The Chief Human Rights Commissioner says, Bill granting the police power to enter properties without search warrant should not be passed by Parliament so quickly. Yeah, just wondering why she had to rush this in. Oh, we gotta get this bill fast passed so we can allow police to just enter in people's Holding the church pickles wherever they please. Yeah. Well, well, people. Well. And yeah. Of course, eh. This is really scary because they can just come in your home and that, uh, and And I ain't going to go to the UK and why are you reading what's in the UK? Well, watch. UK police warn preaching the Bible is a criminal offence if some are deemed offensive. Yet yeah, another attack on freedom of speech. Although people are not actually a Christian and I know are not fine with people who are Bible thumping in that door or try and push their belief on and I'm not fine with that. I'm not a fan of people who are just trying to push their beliefs on other people. But trying to stop people from speaking their mind, it's just outrageous. And, and yet, and it says at the final paragraph, during the, his gospel message about Jesus' love, forgiveness, forever. Mr. Shiftcliffe has made a mention of 1 Corinthians 6 verse 9, a passage that lists a uh, number of sins including homosexuality. And yes, I'm not fine with that religion itself, and, and I know there's a lot of heinous stuff into Christianity or something, and, but I'm not going to really go too much into it right now, and of course, the reason why that because that's also happening in New Zealand as well. Let's go to that right now. And yes, over on Terry's appliance video, and there's Jacinda Ardern. Yeah, please silence Pangadai yeah, Street Preacher. Yeah, there is right there. And there's the city safe people saying that. Oh, you're a Bible from Boo. You are. Say, say, say something that is doomed offensive. So I'm asking you to stop. <laughs> yeah. Well, I will have this video linked down there below. I'm not going to really watch the whole thing because it will take a while. And yeah, well, well yeah, I'm going to be saying, say what they say. Say, say, oh, you know what? You're saying something that's doomed offensive and people don't like it because they say it's offensive. What well, says in the Bill of Rights? Section 14, and I do have a right to express my freedom. Well, that doesn't apply. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, people have always taken their friends for granted, and they they just want to live a comfortable life, though, without. And I know I don't find friendships that always be. I'm not fine. I'm, I don't really like. I'm not really a fan of Bible thumpers, and I don't really. Like people try and force their beliefs on it. I really like to think my own mind and I want to speak their own minds and if there's something that I need to warn to people I would say it and get people to and I would go around the street and say, Hey, 
There's something going on around there, people. Oh, shut up! They will die. Shut up! Because we're the first thing here. Yeah, it's just like it tonight. Hey, your house is on fire tonight. Shut up! Shut up! Well, here, yeah, let's move on to the next article there. And yes, the rate of guns, crime, and killing using guns at the highest level in a decade. Well, it'll be mostly the criminals because during the last year terror event on March the 15th over in Christchurch, then over the, the event was used to, to take away our guns. Yep, yeah, to take away our guns so they can just, yep, yeah, so they can roll out their agenda. <coughs> Because the reason why the government wants to take away our guns is not to make us safe, it's to make them safe from us. Yep. And to know that, man, criminals, they will not give up their guns. Never. They will never give up their guns. Cause, and why should you give up your guns? And, and yes, governments do go bad and you, we need the tools to defend ourselves when the government goes bad. And, And that's why we need our guns to defend ourselves. Just in case our wives are being infringed, are uh, being infringed, and our pe I mean, people are trying to attack us as well, and trying to attack us, uh, trying to murder us, one thing. That's why we need guns to defend ourselves against those, those people that are trying to take our lives as well. Yeah, it's the way so we don't have any tools to defend ourselves is to take our guns away. So, people, let's go to the link there as well. And yet, yeah, link Crown Law advice to police. And yes, I was getting this article. I had a YouTube comment sent me that as well. So, I give thanks to them as well. And yeah, on Monday, I emailed a link to our shows that police have. Troy and Otain Crown Law legal opinion precisely precisely what they could and could not do under government pandemic. And lockdown and legs. This email shows that police please and advice from the Crown Law that there were very little or very little they could do other than speak to people nicely and comply with their legs. Well, people, I just said that our burn had passed the bill that just allowed police to just come in their homes wherever they please people. Well, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, because it. <clears throat> and I said it may have been about when the promise had passed the build as well and yeah and that's been in quite a bit of views it's probably about over 300 which that's pretty good and and yes there's a police point over this band there just holding rubber spins as well and boy Wow, people, wow. Yeah. Although I can't always understand some things as well. And here I know the bill is passed, and here's a surfer that says that this thing that's was during the level 4 lockdown. Oh, you're preaching, you're surfing. You're a terrible person because you're surfing during the level 4 lockdown. <laughs> Therefore, you'll be arrested and fined. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The lockdown was not really necessary as well. And I don't think the virus was actually. <coughs> was there actually wasn't any danger in the flu or pipe? And the fact that there are a lot of. 
Uh, yeah, a lot of people are saying that it probably doesn't even exist at all. Yeah. Here, yeah, the Crown Law advised that standard stock church and surveillance powers available to police will not insist in enforcing isolation campaign. And so, wow, people, wow. Well, question three. Today shows that the government is standing on the blind disregard of the law. Well, it looks like we won't be able to watch that there. And I could try to reload, uh, reload the player. Let's see how it's going to go. There we go. Responded, and the promptness of the government's response to them as well. Thank you. Question number three, the Honourable Simon Bridges. Speaker, to the Prime Minister. Does she stand by all her government's actions in response to COVID-19? Mr Speaker, um, yes, particularly our decision to go hard and go early. That member will have seen today um, that I gave an outline of what Level 2 will mean for New Zealand um, when we reach there. While this is no way of foreshadowing the decision Cabinet will make on Monday regarding whether or not we will move, it was important to give some context to what it will look like. Ultimately, Level 2 is our safer normal, not a return to business as usual, but a time to enjoy reconnecting with those we haven't seen for some time. But we want to make sure that when we make that decision, it is at the right time. Treasury modelling has told us that we are better off in the longer term to move down through alerts progressively and not yo-yo. If we think of ourselves as halfway down Everest, I think it's clear no one wants to hike back up that peak. Has she seen advice to police that states that an isolation campaign by police, quote, is unlikely to meet the high statutory threshold the exercise of these powers, standard police powers to stop search and surveillance must be exercised for their statutory purpose and may not be used to assist police in the enforcement of the isolation campaign. Well, well here we go, Bill, about to get the answer as well. Let's see what the <laughs> Prime Minister Jizzy Ardu has got to say. Mr. Speaker, I have seen final Crown Law advice, and I note the Attorney General, uh, with the advice from Crown Law, has indicated there are no gaps in the enforcement arrangements that have been used. But of course, as the member well knows, a Section 70 notice was issued to provide. Well, is that so? You pretty much rushed that bill in, and oh boy, so you rushed that bill in. So well. Continue. Additional clarity. Well, and that's all I'm going to go through right now. And I know there's still a bit to go through. And well, people, the bill has been passed, and that means it's giving powers to the police to enter your homes and to search your vehicle whenever they choose. And this is really a Look like that's really a power of a dictator. That's what that dictator would actually do. For sure, they can give police more powers than that to just enter the homes where, or enter in the homes wherever they please, or search your vehicles wherever they please. And that's all I've got to be saying. Let's just move on. Well, <clears throat> this says what happened. How control our police? Well. With the new powers, and I think it's not going to really be very pleasant. And and yet, ever since the Christchurch massacre, police have been operating a doctrine in dictatorial fashion, and, and we know they have used massive overreach and grabbed many guns they could, and that's what that buyback thing as well, and and treated their miser like it's their lapdog. Wow, wow. <clears throat> and wow, people, wow. Now I know people, this is probably what I've got to really say, and if you've got more to read, this is from the BFL, and 
And I'll have a link down in the description if you want to read more about it as well. So it gets you some time to read because I will not have to go through and read it all on this video because it will just be so long. So let's just get to the last article. And yeah, this is about the test guys urge people to start getting 5G information from social media. Oh, oh, no, 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 don't go there. Don't look at that. Don't go there. You can trust the mainstream media. You can trust us, but don't go to the conspiracy first like Darren I go Matthew Miller or Doug Jones or the Northland King Troll. No, no, don't go there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, in recent weeks, 16 towers have been damaged. Most of them in Auckland, because they know they don't want those towers. They don't want those 5G towers. They know it's, it's harmful. And who they can actually affect how our body can absorb oxygen. And boy, if that's really the case, boy, this is really serious stuff. And, and yep. Yeah, Scientists have rubbish decline and popular, and popular social media like YouTube and Facebook have tried to crack down users spreading lies and both. Veteran conspiracy first they like has a huge worldwide following has count on both on both this I have recently been shut down recently linking the two. Yeah, well, the good news is that they have like say it has a BitTube channel and you can find it on BitTube. Of course, he will never shut up. And why should he? Because, man, he actually made a, one of the most empowering videos that I ever had listened to. And boy, boy, it is worth listening to. That's why they don't want us listening to those people. Because they know it's going to affect their gender as well, and and they say what is 5G and what is coming from New Zealand this year. Yet yeah, they're trying to wall out this 5G because they know no safety studies have been done whatsoever. Well, we're just going to say it's actually safe because we say it so. <laughs> That's them. Yeah, and well, we're just going to say it's safe without. Doing independent studies because we're, we're just gonna say, say well, no, it's gonna cause stop people's biosorbing oxygen or something. And oh, well, no, we're gonna just point out that military denial system. So when there's gonna be protesters out there that we don't like, we could just fire the bean on them and they'll just disperse. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, and of course this is going to harm some bees, but we're still going to roll it out. <laughs> Man, yeah. Well, people, and of course this 5G is also part of bringing the social credit system to cashless society, and yeah, and they need 5G for it to work as well, and and to bring in the internet of things as well and well people I hope you enjoyed this video for what I gotta say as well and also and on this day actually I actually had made some yeah made a uh, bee wax wrap I'm gonna get it myself so I'll just be right back I'm gonna show you that Yeah, there it is right here. There's my B Rex wrap, and boy, <coughs> it falls. And, and that was actually my first attempt, wasn't too bad. And ah, man, I just love smelling B Rex, it's just awesome, just a lovely smell. Well, um, and I'm probably might be showing you a bit of that as well. And I'm probably working on that one as well. So, people. This is all I got to really say for now. This is Matthew Miller signing off, over and out.